Hey guys, I didn't plan on bringing you another video today, but I had this one that I've been working on, so I went ahead and finished it because YouTube has de decided to go ahead and put my other video on notice. So I don't know how long it'll be out or why it would be removed, but I think again it's another attack on my channel. But anyways, uh, we're going to talk about a little boy named Riker Webb. He's three years old. He was south of Troy in Montana. He was missing for two days. The moon was a waxing crescent. Riker was reported missing Friday at about 4.53 p.m. when a concerned neighbor called 911. The boy had already been missing for two hours whenever they had called 911. The original description of the clothes provided by the searchers turned out to be totally inaccurate. Sheriff's Office said it was not known what clothes or shoes the child was wearing. Sheriff Darren Short uh, told KREM the boy's family was very upset during the search. The sheriff stated, The father went into the house, and when he returned back to the street, the child was gone. The family was embarrassed and didn't want to call 911 because they felt that they had made a mistake, I'm guessing. Uh, search teams deployed ATVs, uh, ATV riders, several drones, dog teams, units of boats on the lake, and we have water in the area if you notice. Uh, they stated that the search was very difficult due to the dense ve vegetation. We've heard that again too, a lot. Two Montana National Guard helicopters also joined in the search. Heavy rain, low visibility, and low ceilings. A weather event came in, which we know weather event now. We got water in the area, and the search was stopped. Due to the weather. That's how bad it got. They had to actually stop searching. Uh, the search was resumed on Sunday when they found a child on Pine Ridge Road near South Fork Bull River Road in uh, the county. He was found in good mood, healthy, hungry, cold, and thirsty is what they made the uh, press report, right? Okay. What wasn't reported mostly, I found, after digging really deep, was Riker was found actually in a shed out in the woods. A generator shed. He had went into this little shed and found shelter, I guess, by himself at three years old. Kind of makes me wonder if something didn't take him there, put him there. Uh, I don't think he would have found that on his own. It's possible he may have, but I just don't see a three-year-old going into a shed and taking shelter. Uh, this said that he was very scared whenever he was found. I know if you look at the picture of him in the ambulance, he looks afraid to me. Uh, whenever they made the first press release, they said he wasn't afraid. He was in good mood and everything, but I ain't buying it. Uh, the boy survived two nights alone. Thunderstorms, the lows were in the 40s. We got mountain lions. Bears are also known to hunt and search the area. He was released from the hospital on the same day. Whenever little Riker was asked what he seen, he said, I went for a long walk and got tired. For a three-year-old to survive two days in the woods, to find shelter on his own, I just don't see a three-year-old doing that, uh, especially with the lows in the 40s and rain and everything. And I think it would be very difficult for him to survive out there alone without the help of, we'll say, something. Uh, I, they also found him... I believe it was within a mile of the house, maybe even closer. And that will also lead me to believe that whatever is taking these kids, whenever it sees these huge searches, I believe it's smart enough to know that if they don't find what they're looking for, then they're going to find me or they're going to come into my area or it's going to cause more trouble. So I think they end up putting them out to where they're found. 
and that way when they're found they know the search has stopped that's just an opinion I think these things are a lot smarter than what people give them credit for and I think that probably the fast mobilization of everything is probably what saved his life uh, if something did have him it probably left him there and made sure that he was found that way it wasn't found I believe these things are that smart I mean I've dealt with them in the woods when we're fishing where to throw sticks up and hit my kids we would ignore it you know we'd sit there and say I just let it do its thing you know we're just fishing and then it would start making baby crying noises it would start uh, breaking limbs it would start making you know whoops it would start whistling it would start sounding like a cow a cat a kitten whatever it could to get our attention and then eventually whenever we would ignore all that it would move up to the truck and start hitting the truck with stuff and it just like it would progress so I think these things are a lot smarter I guess I know they are because I've dealt with them I've dealt with them all my life even at my grandma's when they would do things like grandma and them you could look from their back barn and you could see through their back door and into their kitchen right well they would go out to the milk barn lock the house and they could still look up and see through the back door right well whenever they would look they could see through their back door something standing in the house staring at them through the cutout in the front room that looked through the kitchen out the back door, right? So it's staring at them. It was in the house. So they don't even know what this thing is, but it's in the house. And then my aunt woke up, and it's another story I'll tell sometime. It was standing over the bed looking at them. These things are smarter than what people think, guys. And trust me, uh... I'm thinking about writing a book on all this. Uh, there's a lot of first-hand accounts I have. There's a lot I have from my mom and her sisters and things that had happened. But I think we need to be careful with our kids. It was interested in my mom and them when they were kids, and it still seems to be interested in kids. And I'm not so sure that something didn't take this little boy out there and had other plans. It's just they mobilized fast enough that they were able to save him. I appreciate you all watching, guys, and God bless.